Hello, hello, everybody. It's me, Cat Dog Pig Duck, and I'm currently a horse. Isn't that uh, that's a thing, right? Uh, it doesn't make any sense, honestly. I'm neither a cat, a dog, a pig, or a duck. I'm a horse at the moment, but that's fine. We'll deal with it. Um, you know, this is the morph mod in TTPI, uh, that, which we're playing today, by the way. We're on the TTPI. Am I saying that right? No, I'm not. It's called TPPI test pack please ignore we're on the tppi server today and uh i'm a beautiful horsey isn't that nice anyway let's stop being a horsey doesn't make any sense uh this is part of the morph mod pack or or morph mod i don't know how i feel about it uh apparently if you see here um i can become a bat which i've seen in other people's videos that the bat allows you to fly but uh i think they nerf that because uh, all i can do is jump so, I'm a bat at the moment, but, you know, all that does is make me one block tall. Which, which honestly is kind of cool. I mean, I can fit into small places, but I don't really plan on using this mod a whole lot. It feels a little cheaty to me at the moment. I mean, it doesn't make any sense that I would be able to turn into animals. Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm not a necromancer yet, or some sort of awful witch. You think you would have to, like, I don't know research some sort of magical stuff to be able to morph into these animals uh you know from like a story standpoint that makes sense but whatever i'm not the mod pack author it's a cool mod i'll give it that so hi <laughs> anyway let's get to it we're we're very excited about this mod pack we're very excited to be using not horizons at the moment horizons is great and all it's got some very interesting mods in it but i've missed a bunch of these mods that are in the tech packs. Uh, computer craft is one of them. I have never gotten fully into computer craft, you know, like the writing of programs and stuff in, in what, do you, what do you call it, Lua. Uh, I'm not really a programmer. I'm more of a hack. Um, I just kind of take other people's code and make it do stuff. Uh, I have a friend of mine who's going to start a YouTube channel where he actually teaches you Luau or teaches you and shows you some cool computer craft stuff, but that's not me. I'm not going to do that. Um, here, I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to download some programs off the internet. And uh, <laughs> that's going to make Bob Newhart, my uh, mining turtle here, infinitely more powerful. Powerful. So the first program I'm going to download is something called Variable Size Quarry. I'm going to put the link in the description. And uh, you guys can check it out. It's a, it's a very cool program. Basically... Um, your turtle starts off with a couple of programs built in. I think it's three total. Um, one of them is called Excavate, and basically it'll excavate a, a square, not a square, a cube of a certain size that you put the number in. And that's cool and all, but I'm gonna download one that lets you pretty much calculate all the variables of the cube. So it could be really long and rectangular, or it could go all the way down to the core. Um, it's called variable size quarry and we're gonna download it now. Let's see if I remember how to do this um, I think it's you type in hold on my typing isn't working. Oh, there we go paste Man, my typing is slow. What's going on? paste bin get and You then type in the paste bin code. So uh, for this one. It's nine four capital P and this stuff is typing in very slow. I don't know if that's lag or what. Uh, P, 94 P, 4, R, capital N, lowercase g, and the number 1. Um, why isn't that typing in? I typed the numbers. Come on, man. Don't tell me the server is that slow. Uh, let's try it again. R? What is going on here? Heavens above! Am I disconnected? I can't even access this turtle right now. Hold on, guys. I'm going to log out and log back in and see if that helps my connection any. Because it seems like I just got kicked off the server. I'm not sure. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I'm back. I've logged back in. Let's try this again. Uh, paste. Ah, oh, there we go. It's nice and speedy now. Paste bin get 94 capital P. For lowercase r, capital N, G, 1. Right? And then you 
give it a name. I'm just going to call it Quarry because that's how cool I am. Connecting to Pastebin, download it as Quarry. Very cool. So uh, while we're at it, we may as well give this another program that I like to have. This is more of a building program. So you can program your turtle to build just basic shapes. Um, let's see, this one is called Versatile Shape Builder. I like it a lot. It's got a lot of shapes in it. You can build even like weird things like pyramids and orbs and stuff. But uh, here's the code for it. I'll put a link down in the description so you guys aren't left out. So J uh, number four R two K. Wait, oh, is it freaking out again? It is a little bit. Two K. It does not like me typing these in. It's like, write the program yourself. So I'm just going to call this one build. Oh man, why is this not working? Oh, what is wrong with my connection today? I'm pretty sure it's on by end. Oh, there we go. We're going to hit return. We're waiting. We're waiting. There we go. It worked. Huzzah. I get the feeling I'm going to get kicked off this server anytime now. But we've got the two programs in there. We've got them stored in Bob Newhart. And we're going to try one of them out now. Oh man, this lag is killing me. All right. So let's go down to the depths here. Do I have any chests on me? Let's grab a few chests. Nope, nope, screw it. We'll just do it. So let's see if this is going to give me any trouble or not. Ba -ba. We want to go down pretty low because we need like diamonds and gold and stuff. So here we are. We're at level 12. Let's go a little higher. Yeah, let's do it right here at 19. We'll put our Bob Newhart down. We'll type in Quarry, which is one of the programs we just downloaded. What dimension? Length, um, let's say 20. Width, we want 20 as well. I already forgot what height I'm at, so let's just say 19. So that'll do a, well, yeah, yeah. So let's do, where am I? Let's do, yeah, let's do 19. So basically we just did an excavate, but whatever. Inverted, I think inverted means that you can either have it quarry up or down. I think default is down. That would make sense for a quarry. Uh, and up would be no. So let's say inverted no. Starting in three, two, one. And another great thing about this program is that it calculates how much fuel it needs before it goes. So, you know, it won't start a job that it can't finish. But anyway, let's get some chests real quick. I might have some down here from when I was just using Excavate. And it's full of garbage. Let's empty these out. We might throw some of this away. I don't need cobble all that much. Yeah. Let's throw some cobble. Out. Out, out, damn cobble. There we go. Let's get this double chest right up here. And if we put it right behind where it was, it should empty it into it. That makes sense, right? Who knows? Plonk. Hopefully that's enough space. In the future, when we have it doing larger size quarries, um, you know, we'll have it filter out the cobblestone. Right now, we're just going to do it manually. As it fills up with cobblestone, we will empty it. Very good. So we got a bunch of stuff in our inventory. I, I, I built some barrels. I'm very happy to have these back. Um, Horizons had the Java. Why isn't this working? There we go. I think there's just a little lag going on right now, and it's probably on my end. My in my internet connection's never that great. Uh, so what do we want to do now? Um, I think the next thing we want to do, another thing we're very excited about, is having the ability to upgrade chests again. Um, we had the Metallurgy 3 chest back in Horizons, and those are fine and all. Let's, um, but now we can upgrade the chest without crafting them with these little uh, wood to iron chest upgrades. So as you can see here, there's the there's the recipe. Boom. We want as many of them as we can get. Uh, and boom. Open it up and it's almost got like double the space. You guys should already know this stuff. This is pretty basic. But I'm thrilled to have it back. I freaking love this. Because uh, you know. Man. 
you, you try out a different mod pack and all it does is make you miss mods that you've grown to love such as you know these factorization barrels and iron chests look at that so much room now very roomy very cool so um, you know we're, we're still in the very early stages of development in this game as you can see I just got a, a stinky old hole in the ground and uh, I'm just collecting resources um, something we want to do next Ooh, I'll show you this real quick I've been collecting some orberry bushes just a few and they're down here it looks like this one's getting too much light I need to move it over these essence berry, essence berry bushes are the best uh, let's just go ahead and collect some of these we'll just collect them for now we've got a lot of tin berry bushes so we're gonna have a lot of tin nuggies to uh, mess with so yeah we're just collecting stuff at the moment uh, why would tin be orange? This seems like it should be uh, copper. Yeah, that may be a that may be a mix up in the texture pack. Who knows? Do you like my table? I made. Oh, I'm, I'm so glad to have Bibliocraft back too. This is so great. I have a table with an apple on it. I kind of wish when you put an item on these tables, and I don't even know how to get it out. That just may be the lag at the moment. Yeah, that might be lag because I should be able to get that damn apple of that table and it's gone uh what's going on hello i would like my table back please oh there we go everything just caught back up suddenly and very scary like oof okay um um anyway ignore that didn't even happen man what the heck is going on i can't even sleep all right, my apple is now gone. It's on the table, and it's probably going to make me sleep here in a second. Heavens above. Whatever. Let's, um, let's see here. Something else I am very excited to have back is Project Red. Now, we had Project Red on Horizons, but we never, it, we could never really find any resources for it. But here's what I'm excited about. Ah, uh, this is like the old tech it days. Look at this, a sapphire pickaxe. Oh, uh, this is going to really tear through some crap. So anyway, guys, um, I really just wanted to show you those quick little turtle programs that you can download for free off of the intranet. And, uh, you know, I didn't make them. I just use them. You really need to thank the author of those. But uh, anyway, as you can see, this guy's going to town. Ooh, I need to block this off or monsters are going to get in. So very cool. Oh, I know what I wanted to do with you guys. Um, let's see, where was it? I was looking on my mini-map the other day, and this mini-map that comes with it is pretty cool. Um, where is it? Was it up here? You can kind of see... You can see, like, little dots on it. If you look in the top right-hand corner, uh, those kind of indicate empty space. And right about here, yeah, this is where it was. Right about here, you can see a little square. And squares only mean one thing, dungeons. So anyway, I found this dungeon. I haven't explored it yet, but let's see if we can get a torch going on. And let's, uh, let's loot this bad boy. Oh dear. One thing I've noticed with this uh, TTP T P P I pack is uh, the skeletons are sons of bitches. They are hard as hell. I'll see you in hell. Let's kill all these guys. Oh, one in the back can see me. Great, I just knocked out the torch. Good job. Die! Die! There we go. I think that's all of them. If we could throw one more torch in there, I think we'll be super safe. So this is my first dungeon of the game, and it's a skelly spawner, which is pretty cool. Ooh, look at this. Oh, an ender seed. Perfect. We don't need this wood. We don't need this. Um, you know, this is so close to our base, we could come back. Ooh, five ender lily seeds and some quartz. Electrical steel. Ooh, shiny ingots and some stinky old force gems from Darkcraft. Okay, let's, uh, let's collect some of this stuff. We don't need marble. We don't need livestone. 
Ooh, we, I'm excited to get that record. Uh, yeah. So that's everything out of that trunk. There's one more over here. Oh my god, look at all this stuff. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Ooh, we got some red garnets from Greg Tech. Actually, let's put this back in here. Ooh, some bronze and some other stuff. We don't need these wood bowls. Ah! There's just so much stuff in here, I can't even take it all. Green sapphire. So that's a Greg Tech jewel. Ooh, some steel. Perfect. I'd love to have some steel. Thank you. I hear some skeletons sneaking around outside. It's making me a little nervous. Ah, freezing spray. Yeah, we're definitely going to take that. That's interesting. I don't even know what this is. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Anyway, ooh, there's a building wand in here too. Ooh, and a greater power catalyst. Uh, who knows what that is? That's some junk. Oh, this is so cool. Anyway, anyway, guys, uh, I just wanted to show you that. And now I've got all kinds of junk. Very cool. I am very pleased with this uh, this exploration. So very nice. We've got a quarry going. It's collecting us so much awesome stuff. And uh, you know, we'll be we'll be in good shape in no time. We'll be a rich man. And that's what I want to be. So anyway guys. I wanna thank you all for watching. The uh ugh. Wow, this is such a weird angle. It's very jittery on the camera. I wanna thank you all for watching. And uh if you liked the video, why don't you uh why don't you give it a like, huh? And I'll give you one of these. I'll salute you, sir. And uh, if you want to subscribe, that's cool too. I'd like to have a really awesome subscriber like you. So until next time, guys, uh, this is CatDogPigDuck signing off. And I'll see you soon. Bye!